1990, in New York City, the city decided to temporarily close one of its streets in preparation for Earth Day to reduce the amount of cars on the road. However, something interesting happened. Even though the same amount of cars moved through the surrounding area as any other day of the year, the amount of congestion in the surrounding streets was actually less than compared to any other day of the year, contrary to what anybody would believe to happen with the loss of a road. Well, to normal people, to normal ordinary people, external factors such as psychological influence and personal preference would be the explanation behind this behavior. However, to a mathematician, the logic and reason uh, the logic and reason surrounding this behavior would fall under the fascinating and riveting world of game theory. So, game theory is a complex analysis of the behavior of individuals in strategic situations and what leads them to perform their specific outcome in relation to both biological and psychological factors. Um, so, mainly used in economics, science, and psychology, game theory allows any person capable of creating a mathematical model to analyze the course of action, the logical course of action that humans, animals, and even computers may take in a situation. So, um, game theory can be applied to any interaction between two human, two human beings in an attempt to strategize it, and has many real-world applications, such as um, determining the best possible business decision to maximize profits between two companies or determining the best possible phrase to say in this scenario. So to start off, let's take a look at the simple everyday scenario of love confession in mathematical quadrant form. So um, this, the decision to either confess to someone or reject someone is, plays a significant role in most people's lives. So it's fitting to have the most logical of subjects math as your secret weapon in making a decision. Game theory would state that your decision would result in the best possible outcome for you regardless of the decision that your partner makes, thus being dubbed the dominant strategy. That being said, let's take a look at the two choices you as an individual can make in the process of confessing your feelings mathematically. So you can either choose to confess or reject someone slash remain silent. If you choose to confess to someone and they choose to return your confession and accept your confession or confess also, then you would both result in a happy outcome or positive outcome, hypothetically. If you choose to confess um, and your partner chooses to reject you or remain silent, then you would arrive at a sad or negative outcome while your partner would arrive at an unaffected or neutral outcome. If you both choose to reject each other or remain silent, then you would avoid the topic altogether and avoid the scenario altogether as well, with both of you arriving at a neutral decision. Unless, of course, a certain topic is involved. So, by construction of the simple 2x2 two two decision matrix, game theorists can determine that the dominant strategy in this scenario would be to remain silent. This can be seen in the decision probabilities matrix in this, um, in this decision matrix. If you, as an individual, choose to confess to someone, then you would have a 50% chance of arriving at a positive outcome and a 50% chance at arriving at a negative outcome. However, however, if you choose to um, remain silent, then you would have a 100% chance, a guaranteed chance to arrive at a neutral or unaffected outcome. Thus, the dominant strategy in this scenario, as game theorists would put it. This is an illustration of the trembling hands equilibrium, which is essentially the belief that your partner's trembling hands may accidentally select the wrong decision in your choice-making game. So, in order to play it safe, you'd choose the decision that would result in the most consistent outcome for you, in this case being to remain silent. However, you can see that the dominant strategy is not always the best possible strategy that a scenario can offer. In this scenario, in the decision matrix, people can see that the best, the true best possible outcome would be if would result if both people had confessed resulting in both people result, uh, would resulting in two positive outcomes for both people. Uh, if the choices of the two individuals were interdependent of another rather than independent of another and the, the, the two people are, 
present in the game were able to view the choices of the other, then instead of resulting in a trend of hands equilibrium, this game would result in a Nash equilibrium, which is essentially the outcome, the best optimal outcome that results in this game when both people consider decisions that the other can make and essentially play as a team. So in this case, the Nash equilibrium would the Nash equilibrium would be to confess as if both, if both individuals participating in this game were able to view the decisions of the other, then the best possible outcome of confessing would be clear. So just to review, um, the trembling hands equilibrium would, be, um, would rely on independent choice and the belief that you are playing it safe. The Nash equilibrium would result on would result from interdependent choice and the belief that you should play as a team uh, with your partner. So, as you can see, with the help of a little math and psychology, con uh, confessing your feelings can be as easy as constructing a math equation. So, in real world applications, game theory is primarily used in economics and business to analyze the best possible business profits that two companies would make if they decide to work together as a team. While it does have some limitations, such as assuming all participating individuals are rational, assuming they are consistent in their decision-making skills, and that they enjoy working as a team, game theory can construct powerful models of sociological behavior in macro and micro sociology, and for the future, uh, for the future, develop more rational and logical artificial intelligences that would lessen the barrier between humans and robots. So when used correctly, game theory can introduce new politics, um, influence policies uh, already existing or new policies, or even spark wars. But for now, it remains a vividly interesting analysis on societal behavior and will continue to do so for the future. Just remember that any decision can be resolved with the help of a little math and psychology.